Hey everybody! Hey everybody! You know what? Let's, let's just rock paper scissors for this. Okay. All right. All right. Let's, let's do Best it. two out of three. Ah, damn it! Ah, one. Right, you got one. You got one. Ha 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 ha! Damn it! <laughs> Welcome to Food Dudes DMV. I'm Chris. And this is Eli, my main man, Eli. Uh, today we are at Taco Bell in Aspen Hill. Uh, they came out recently with the rolled chicken tacos again and some weird looking but delicious looking uh, sour strawberry drink that we're going we're gonna to try today. Uh, Eli, what's your, what's your favorite uh, item you've ever gotten from Taco Bell? Well, I'm a Taco Bell aficionado from back in my days when I was in Germantown. I used to have a Taco Bell right across the street from my complex, so I always frequented it when I got off of work. I like the Ranchero chicken taco, but they canceled that item. I don't think they make it anymore. The cheesy potatoes, you gotta try the center twist. And one thing I'm gonna tell you about uh, Taco Bell that a lot of people sleep on and they don't know about is that Baja Blast. That is super necessary for anything you get from Taco this Bell. True. Get the Mountain Dew Baja Blast that to drink true. with it. It's really good. That's very true. I'll tell you a story about one of my favorite things from Taco Bell. It's a fun little story. It's a fun little tale about uh, a boy at a Nationals baseball game. I had a little bit of fun uh, during this event. and So I thought it would be a good idea after the game get off the Metro and say, Hey, honey, you know, my wife was with me. Hey, honey, well, let's go to Taco Bell. I'm, I'm still you know, a little hungry. So I got the $5 nacho box. I'm telling you, this is Nacho Bell Grande on steroids, man. They brought out the guacamole and everything. And I remember just biting into that. And I started singing the first start, the first part of Amazing Grace. Amazing Grace. That, that good, huh? It was the best night of my life uh, until I woke up the next morning. But I digress. So we're going to go. We're going to try these uh, chicken tacos in this drink. Give you a quick review. Roll chicken taco. Roll chicken taco. And they got dipping sauce for too. We'll see what type of dipping sauces they have. So let's go check it out. Okay, so they messed up our order. Of course. Uh, I went back in though and we got free uh, cinnamon twist out of the deal. So thank you, Aspen Hill uh, Taco Bell, for yeah. making up for that. And then Eli, while he was waiting in the car, was considerate enough to find $2 that was lost underneath. Hey, let seat. me tell y'all something. This is how you know you're really in a white new car. I seen he had change in the center console, but then when I dropped my phone and picked it up, like dollar bills, <laughs> dollar bills came with my hand. <laughs> I was like, what the hell? That's the whitest thing I've ever seen. <laughs> Three cinnamon. We'll save those for later. Oh my Here, God. Oh, take a look at the drinks, y'all. Oh, yeah, we go. That's the Skittles uh, sour strawberry, strawberry drink. I think there might be Skittles at the bottom. We'll, we'll have to find we out. We will investigate. That's for further investigation. Yeah. All right, so I said two four packs of rolls and they gave me two of two. Yeah, they and for whatever reason, they couldn't realize that I wanted a sauce for each order. So they had two different sauces, nacho cheese and spicy ranch. And the lady kept getting confused. So. I'll tell you something about ordering, ordering uh, through drive throughs It's weird, right? Sometimes, and I said this, we hit the camera off to pause it. And I said, sometimes the more complicated your order, the likelihood of them getting it right is better. I said, we order something small, I guarantee you to mess it up. When we got our food, they messed it up. And we ordered something simple. Oh man, these are nice and hot. Let me get one of, uh, nacho cheese. One of each of the sauces. Don't tell me they did it again. Yeah, you gave me two nacho cheeses. No, man, right. we're gonna have to That's a spicy ranch. And then we got a bunch of leftover sauce too. All right. But do you know what? If you if you're gonna go, you're gonna you gotta get the specialty sauces that they're that they're rolling. And you know what, Eli, you're right. I don't think I'm going solo, man. Yeah, hey. You know, doing this food thing. When I cook, you know, they call me sauce man. Sauce man, the boss man. You know why? Because I'm a flavor aficionado. It's all. Look at that. I'm all about the sauce. Spicy I'm all ranch. about all right. the sauce. Hey, let's let's dig dig into the spicy ranch. Yeah, that's right. You know, we got Thank you, Glenn what, Bell. We learned see a lot what about Taco you. Bell is working with. All right, let's try this uh, spicy ranch. Y'all got a good shot of this? Yeah, All right, that's the spicy ranch. Yep, 
Yeah. Little crunchy. That's a pretty good crunch. Don't really taste the chicken too much, but that ranch sauce is pretty good. Hold up now. Hold up. Oh, that was pretty damn good. Now I taste the chicken. Mm. So my yeah, question was, my question was, is this going to be better than the taquitos I get from like Harris Teeter and Safeway? That yeah. authentic like corn uh, tortilla type of thing. One thing nice kiss to it. I'm gonna try my own. Mm. One thing is mm. kind of my downfall is after work stopping to get a snack and this is one of the prime places to do so. Let's go ahead, let's dip into that. Alright, I'm still on this uh Spicy ranch. <laughs> I think everybody knows what nacho cheese tastes like at this point. Hey, you know what? Well, what I'm trying to do is, I'm not trying to over exaggerate my reaction. <laughs> but that was pretty damn good, man. Oh, let me try this other one. Well, not, I get... Nacho cheese is good. I, I go for ranch. Yeah, I'm going to try it. Well, no. This ain't bad by any means. I'm in a happy place right now. Yeah. Let's see what this, uh, the cheese does with the roll taco. Mmm. You think it's better than ranch? I don't know. I think I still think it's ranch a tad better. Rough. Rough. I don't know if it's because we got it so hot, but the heat coming from the heat coming from the road chicken taco plus the heat and mild like minor spice coming from the nacho cheese they're both a deadly combination i don't even eat ranch sauce i never eat ranch with any wings anything uh, i'm not gonna lie if i were to come back i probably would double my order and get both so I, I like both sauces mm. i just finished through the ranch cheese or the cheese and it took about two roll tacos so get each sauce lasts like two. Oh, uh, mm -hmm. mm -hmm. All right, let's try the Skittles right here. Mm -hmm. this, is, this is the... I have one extra taco for you. Yo, um, I think it was a couple years ago when I was living in Georgia. That's when they had the, uh, the road taco out. I got it a couple times down there. It was nothing like this one. I'm surprised. It, it was nothing like this one. You know, you go, you go to 7-Eleven and the tortillas all soft and everything. Mm -hmm. This had a good contrast. You had a nice crunch. <clears throat> I'm pretty sure the camera's gonna pick up some of that crunch. That was the feeling, that was pretty damn crunchy. The filling was pretty good, but the sauce is complemented it perfectly. So, ooh, I'm happy I had the leftover. Hey, right. you know how like, like uh, I'm a spicy food eater, right? But if you really like spicy food, sometimes you don't want to over spice. The spiciness coming from the nacho cheese sauce, plus the heat, the actual physical heat that's coming from the roll taco, it's perfect together. All it's right. perfect. Let's get let's get after this Skittles drink. Right? Yeah, let me go ahead. Get your straw out. Look at that. Look at that. Thank you again, Glenn Bell. You are an innovative man. Is there a Skittles? Let's see how sour it is. Sour Skittles, uh, strawberry, cheers, slurpy thing. Let's do it. Ooh. Oh yeah. You know what? I feel delighted. Pour a little bit. Of, pour a little bit of Jack in here. <laughs> oh, there he goes again. Savage life. <laughs> Foo foul. <laughs> I like to do funny things. All right, this is pretty darn good too. This is a heck of a snack on the way home from work. I don't know, man. We're gonna have to grade this because it tastes about as good as a Slurpee. Probably. Probably. I like the carbonation. All right. So. We got our fun. Let's get down. Oh, there is Skittles in the bottle. What? 
I think so. So we're we'll back. All right, we had our fun. It's down to business. Now. We're All gonna right. grade it A to E. A meaning E meaning. Mm. Yeah, E meaning you, you're. Mm. He says it best. All right, so let's start with the rolled chicken tacos. Eli, what you got? These are a bundle of joy. I'm just gonna keep it 100% with y'all. The texture means a lot to me. Almost like if you go to like a fried chicken place and it's no like crunch or crisp, it's not really fried chicken. So when you got a rolled taco that's deep fried, you need that crisp. It's there. Love the tortilla, love the shell. The chicken is like not too overly seasoned or too salty. So what happens is when you dip into the sauce, you actually get like a perfect marriage, perfect combination. You know what I'm saying? So if I have to give it a grade just for a snack, we're just talking about a snack, something quick to get through the drive-through, the rolled chicken taco definitely gets an A. I'm not gonna give it an A++, but I will give it an A. Why? I tasted no flaws in the seasoning of the chicken. The tortilla and the shell was right. The complimentary sauces were great. I don't even eat ranch, like I told y'all, but that spicy ranch goes well with that rolled chicken taco. So for Eli, I give it an A. What you got, Chris? I have to agree. And now, now we'll talk about the restaurant itself. They messed up the order, but they made it right by at least giving us extra stuff and everything. But that's separate. We're gonna talk just about the item. Just about the item. Like he said, the tortilla had a great corn tortilla taste. It was crispy. The inside was nice and warm and the flavor was good. But again, for me, alone it would have been a B plus. With those sauces, like he said, A. Goes up. I would say make sure you go to Taco Bell, get them on your way home for a snack. If you're stuck in a commute, and hey, we're in the DMV, we know all about commutes, go get yourself some rolled chicken tacos and go home with it. Let's get to this uh, we're gonna, sour skittles. We're now going to go into the sour skittles. <clears throat> Off of first taste, I like the carbonation in it. Like when you get the Slurpee, the best part of the Slurpee to me is that little kick, that little fizz that you get from it. Cause if you just drank a Slurpee like with nothing, it would be like eating the ice pop. So when I tasted the little bit of carbonation in it, that was a plus for me. Uh, the flavor, it wasn't too sour. Can you taste the Skittle? Like whatever they're trying to do with the Skittles? I don't see why it's called Skittles, but I will say it's not too sour. It's a very pleasant, refreshing drink. I have to say that. I gotta give it like, I don't want to over exaggerate it, but it's not its not anything I can complain about. So I want to say around the B because it's not a perfect drink, but when you do the slushy, slurpy type thing, what you're looking for is once again, texture, that smooth pull, plus you need the kick of carbonation. It's not having a tough time going up the straw or anything like that. So I got to give it a B. I'm, I'm leaning towards A, but I don't want to, I don't want to make it seem like it's flawless, like I'm some Taco Bell uh, <laughs> advertisement <laughs> specialist hey, or something. Hey, I'll, I'll, have to, I'll, I'll agree with you. I, it's, it's a refreshing drink. Um, good flavor. For me, I was worried about it being too sour. It's not too sour. Um, you know, I'm not going to give everybody an A. I'm not going to grade on the curve. I'm not going to be one of those cool teachers now. So I'm going to give it a B. Uh, I'm not going to give out everything a B. So I'm going to agree with Eli and give it a B. Because for me, a C means that it's, uh, <coughs> that you're not enjoying it. It's just there. Yeah. Uh, a B means I'm enjoying it. Not the best yeah, drink I've ever good. had, but it's good. It was good. Yeah. So, um, so yeah, so that's it from uh, the Aspen Hill Taco Bell. Again, like and subscribe. Food Dudes DMV YouTube channels. Chris and Eli, it's been good, y'all. And like he said, uh, this Aspen Hill Taco Bell, I've been coming here for a while. It's pretty damn good. So if you have in the area, uh, I'm, I'm going to go on Google and give it a five-star review. They haven't done, done me wrong anytime. So, And the fact we did this live and y'all had good food, messed up our order, but they gave us extra stuff to make up for it. So we give you credit for that. Hey, hey, we got y'all at food. We'll be back. So uh, like, subscribe, join the page. Eli and Chris signing out, man. Food Dudes DMV. See you next time. Let's be real.